you're using equipment that professionals use. New lockdown cap. Much stronger than our old uh, canisters. I never would have done that in the past. You don't see this on the old, uh, uh, older YouTube videos that you're seeing now here in 2018. And we hit wash and hit start. Automatic setting on the front. This is our top of the line model. But you can take it home for only 118 on your credit card. Probably the best investment you'll ever make. That's what people tell me when they see me at Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts. By the way, most of your Starbucks use these for frappuccinos. It's not. I mean, eighteen and a hundred dollars, or a hundred and eighteen dollars, which is even less. I'm just kidding. You. So we're gonna rinse out the suds. Whenever you put it into your life, you'll realize that you know it's it's money very well invested, and I think you already know that. Yeah, it's just a matter of squeezing it in, right? But we're here until Labor Day. Now, any day of the year, this model will be $5.99, but it wouldn't be with the scale. So in two months from now, you can do this. Just go right to Vitamix.com, get it, and just realize that it's here at the fairs where you're going to get the best total package. So let's show you how we're going to make ice cream. You're welcome. In your Vitamix. We are going to make a simple vanilla ice cream. And of course, a simple vanilla ice cream, just like in a carton of haagen right? Starts with avocados, right? Have you ever looked, read the carton on the side? Yeah, it never says avocado, right? Oh, I'm on the side. It never says that. avocado, and that's why people love. Another reason people love their Vitamix because you're actually getting uh, nutrition in your desserts. We're going to add a little bit of spinach. Actually, let's just change the color up a little bit. Let's add some carrots and I, vanilla ice cream. And vanilla ice cream. Now, you're going to ask yourself, those, those two things together don't taste like vanilla. We are going to add a little bit of vanilla creamer. It's a non-dairy vanilla creamer. Now, at home, I like to use cashews and a little vanilla extract because the Vitamix machine will make cashew milk. It'll make almond milk, rice milk, soy milk. And these are all on the, on the app. It comes free. And also, many of the recipes are in the cookbook that come with your machine today. We're also going to sweeten it because it is a dessert. And then the only other ingredient is ice. This is a valve, but you can also use honey. Now, by adding ice, most of the recipe is free, meaning fat-free, calorie-free. Pretty much free to make ice at home, right? Of course, we have to buy the ice here. So uh, they sold me the, the, the expensive ice. It's calorie-free, fat-free, organic. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, so anyway, two-thirds of your recipe is basically free of calories and, and cost. There's an automatic setting for ice cream. People love ice cream so much that we, in our new model, our top-of-the-line Vitamix, this is the A3500, we have an automatic ice cream setting. Notice it's going to start on medium speed. It's going to run for about 55 seconds. All that's automatic. You just hit start. Now, many recipes that are thick, you will use the tamper to push the ingredients down to keep it moving. But this, no matter how hard you press, will never, ever actually touch because it has this safety power. Pretty smart idea, right? right? What this does is it saves you from breaking any spoon handles, like we used to do on blenders, right? It also means you don't have to shake the machine to make things go down. If, if you've ever used a real ice cream maker, you realize that it's still using a lot of fat, or you know, cream is right. It's still going to take you probably 45 minutes to an hour to make. And you're not going to get the nutrition of an avocado and carrots in your ice cream. When you buy a Vitamix, it works as 13 different kitchen appliances in one. And one of those appliances is, a, is an ice cream maker that does give you that nutrition. Look at that nice, creamy texture. Yeah. Like I mean, we're talking solid, right? Right. And then That's scoop it out. Oh, yeah, let's scoop it out. Look at how frozen. Look at that. I'm still practicing doing the curly feel on top, right? So every time you get hungry, your body's asking for some nourishment. But your brain steps in and wants something yummy. When you have a Vitamix, you both nourish your body and satisfy your brain. Carrots and what was the other? Where's the avocado? Carrots and avocado in every bite. 
Try it. You're going to love it. Don't walk away from this because you're going to miss out. you got to try this. You would never, ever guess it. If you can taste the carrots and avocado, I'll give you the sample for free. <laughs> now, if you can't taste them, we still give you the sample for free. So, so this is the 2018 Great New York State Fair, and this is going to be our best package that I get to offer you all year is here at the uh, Great New York State Fair. We actually have people who come back every year to see what new package and offers we're doing. Take home this model. This is our A3500. It's part of the Ascent Series. The Ascent Series is built to take us into the future, and it just ascends your, your culinary experience, and it does it with many automatic settings. Even the wash is automatic. Put in some warm water. Put in a drop of dish soap and there's an automatic cleaning setting. Notice the new lockdown lid, much stronger than before. Notice the uh, lid plug, simple turn, one step to the right or left, locks in, and then you just hit wash and hit start. It's gonna start by washing down at the bottom, clean those blades really well, and then it's gonna go higher on speed automatically and clean all the way up in the cap, and then come back and finish this cleaning down at the bottom again. Isn't that nice? Don't we all have appliances we don't like to use because we don't want to take them apart to clean them? Or we've forgotten where we put all the parts to put them together? Well, so you'll use your vitamins every single day because it's so easy to clean. Next up, do you like salsa? You like salsa? Well, I'm going to try everything. I'm not really... That's okay because I'm going to show you how to make salsa and then we're going to turn that those ingredients into soup. But at least you'll see how you can make a 30, 40 second salsa in the vitamins. Everything we've made so far that you've tried has been silky, silky smooth. That's because most of what we've been making so far has been on high speed. And on high speed, the Vitamix spins faster than any other machine on the market. Even a little faster and stronger than our previous models. But the machine also comes, the Vitamix also comes with low speed. We can put in ingredients like a whole tomato. We can put in uh, baby carrots or a whole carrot. And we can put in some celery. Okay. And then turn it to the lowest speed, which is setting one. So your speeds are one through 10. Set it down to setting one or two. I find sometimes two is perfect for salsa. And just hit start. I used to make salsa in a food processor. And the food processor recommended that on low speed I pulse it. But if I pulsed it one or two too many times, because it was going faster than this, I would have ruined my chunky salsa. Notice I'm not worried about this over-processing. As long as it stays on a very low speed, that low speed and power of the Vitamix and torque gives you just a wonderful salsa experience. Or chunky guacamole, or just mince onions. If you want smaller pieces, just go to a slightly higher speed. So great time to show you how to do that, but we're actually making the soup. So we have in there three vegetables. We're gonna add one more vegetable and that's gonna be a clove of garlic. You don't even have to peel the garlic or remove the hard end because it liquefies those. I've already removed the outer skin of the garlic so there's no uh, dirt issue. And I'm gonna add some spices. This is a Southwest soup, so I'm adding a little bit of uh, taco seasoning. If you wanna make an Italian soup, real simple. You can do the same ingredients, just double the tomatoes and what, add some basil, oregano, right, Italian herbs any flavor, any texture out of the Vitamix, and then we're gonna add some vegetable bouillon, or you can use broth. I'm using a vegetable bouillon paste today, but you can actually use also uh, just pour in broth. The reason for adding the bouillon is because I'm gonna give you the choice. See, if you add bouillon, you have to then add water to finish our soup. I'm gonna give you the choice. I can put in cold water, and I just hit a hot soup, and five minutes and 45 seconds later, what goes in cold comes out hot without a heating element. Or I can do some warm water, so you get a lot of hot. You want to see with it with the five minutes and 45 seconds, right? All right. Here's my only concern, though, is people don't want to wait two minutes. But watch this. I'm going to show you. What we'll do is we'll do a little of both. And the reason I'll do that is because I want to show you there's no steam coming up, right? Attention. All right. We're still going to prove to you it gets hot. Attention. The National Food Service all cold ingredients. I would just hit the hot soup icon in the front and hit start. It would start on setting 4, 5, and then work its way up to high speed. At setting 10, those blades are spinning over 30,000 RPM, much faster than anything in the market. The knife, the uh, blades in here are not that sharp, they're actually kind of dull. 
So they're spinning so fast that creating some friction with the contents of the container. And that's what's making it warm. Now, not just warm, if you let it run for about 10 or 12 minutes, it can actually boil that soup. Since you don't have to boil soup, and sometimes nutritional value is better if you don't boil it, we just run it for about five or six minutes from cold ingredients, or two minutes from warm ingredients, and our soup is, is healthy and ready to eat without having to do all the boiling process. And you could make a different flavor of soup every night, because it only takes six or seven minutes. You don't have to make extra and save it, because it's so fast. There's no need to make a, a large quantity. It's not taking you all day. All right, now, how long has this been running? Well, with the old machine, I, I had to guess, right? But the new one has a built-in digital display. So initially, it was 5 minutes and 45 seconds. I want to run this for about 2 minutes. So, I would stop it when it hits 3 minutes and 45 seconds. But let me show you something else you can do. There was about, about 45 seconds left. You can actually choose any time you want on this. So I could have set this to 2 minutes and hit start. So you can get any time you want if you know how long you want to run or if you see a recipe that has a certain amount of time. Since we only had about 45 seconds left, I'll just take that down to about 45 seconds and turn it back up to high speed. It has to be on maximum speed to actually be heating. But I love the fact that this is, this is safe to touch. It's not hot. Anybody else want the ice cream? Otherwise, I'm going to remove these and what run another one. It? It's uh, vanilla, but it's actually made with carrots and avocado. They get a little messy, right? Especially when they're melting. You're welcome. It tastes a little bit like Play-Doh. <laughs> Does it? No. So there's a little bit of non-dairy vanilla creamer in there, and that's probably what's giving that yuri very unique flavor. But stick around, because we're going to make a different flavor next time. Uh, we have two seconds, one second. Now take a look at the heat on the soup. So did I prove that to you? Yep. And the longer you let it run, the hotter it gets. All the way up to boiling if you want to go that far. We're going to keep it at this temperature. Now this, if you wanted a creamy broth, then this is, this is what you have. You have a nice creamy broth. But this is a Southwest soup. And a Southwest soup would be really good with some beans, maybe some leftover cooked rice in there. In other words, it's a great way to use up leftovers. Now, I wouldn't dare serve you leftovers here at the fair. So we're going to simulate that with some spinach. And semi-low speed, sort of like the food processor speed when we were chopping earlier. And I'm going to use the pulse button this time so I can watch how it's shredding the spinach and I can see when I get to the texture I want. It's a similar way to shred cabbage with the coleslaw. And what we're going to do here is our final ingredient in tortilla soup today is going to be some tortilla chips. We like to say that makes it authentic, right? But at home, it's a great soup. Use up leftovers. If you had leftover cooked chicken, not raw, but cooked chicken, you could also put pieces of that on top, and then on a real low speed, like setting one, pulls in and chopping the chicken, you'd have a chicken tortilla soup. I believe the statistics are that the average family wastes about two or three dollars of produce, of uh, food, leftovers, every week in their house because they don't get around to using it. But you can use up your leftovers to make a healthy, affordable soup in just minutes. Come home with no dinner plans, and six minutes later, you're serving your family a healthy, affordable, and very aromatic and delicious soup in just minutes, not hours. Next up, we're going to make a juice. We'll show you what we can do with apples in the Vitamix. Go ahead and try the soup. We're going to put out a few more servings. And remember the package today. This model of Vitamix is regularly $599. Two years ago, our top of the line machine was over $700. But you can take this home today for only $549. We're taking $50 off of our retail price. And we're including the Perfect Blend Kitchen Scale totally free. That's a, usually a $100 value. You get a choice of three colors. We have it in white. We have it in the brush uh, stainless metal. And we have it in the brush black metal. Your choice. And we give you the hardbound cookbook. And we give you the tamper. And we'll even split the payments up. 549 
plus 8% tax here at the fair, divided by five is only $118.79. How many trailers? So it'll be five. Five trailers? Yep. And it's every 30 days. So, you know, generally as long as you can meet that 118 per month, you're fine. Now, warm water to drop a dish soap, because what's the worst part about cooking at home? Dishes, right? Yeah. But with the Vitamix, there's no pots and pans to scrub. Nothing burned to the bottom of the pan. Everything was done in one container. And we just hit wash and hit start. It even has an automatic wash cycle. You're going to love all the new conveniences in the new model of Vitamix. And this is part of the new Ascent series. These are some of our strongest and quietest motors to date. This model has the most uh, conveniences. It has a nice touch screen. It's easy to clean. Just wipe it off. Next up, let me show you how we can make a strawberry apple lemonade. Feel free to have seconds on the soup. I know it's hot out there. This feels more like the Georgia St. Fair, doesn't it? This year? I know, right? And then just rinse out the suds with fresh water. Take it back to your sink, brush it, rinse it out with fresh water. Now, when I do this at home and I rinse it out in my sink, I don't have all this dripping water because I'm not dunking the canister. But it's nice to know that your popular Vitamix is waterproof because this pad comes off. It's helping to shield it, but also there's no place for it to go in the motor. This is locked off, right? None of these are openings. You see, they've thought of everything to make sure your, your machine will run for decades. They're built to, to last for decades. So I've heard it said that an apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? Yeah. What, what if that's true? I mean, how many of us eat an apple a day? Not too many. I had Not an apple in my cooler for three days and they all the And even if you do eat an apple a day, you're probably not eating the whole apple because you don't generally want to chew through the uh, core, right? Right. Stem seeds core. There's nutrition in every part of the apple except for this bad spot. We'll take that out. Now, there's all kinds of debates on what is nutritious and not nutritious than apple. You can do your own research. Uh, but based on what I've looked at, you know, there's no reason to cut out the core. If you want to, you can take it out. But every day I add an apple in here with a little bit of carrot, a cup of water, I'm out the door. So real simple, and I, I leave the house with a full serving of fruit, a full serving of vegetable every single day. The green tops of the strawberries, do a little research on those. The green tops of the strawberries are actually an edible part of the strawberries. So throw them in. The skin of the lemon has nutritional value. And if you think about it, most people, when they buy lemons, most people pay a lot of money for lemons. And then what do we do? We wind up throwing out almost the entire lemon, right? We might squeeze some juice out of it, but then we throw the rest of it away, and there's more nutrition in what we're throwing away than what we're getting here. I mean, then what we're getting is we squeeze it, yep. Now, there is a little bit of sourness to that, so I'm going to add some agave. That's just a nectar? Yeah, it's a nectar of a cactus. Think of it like maple syrup or honey. It just happens to be a low glycemic index, in this case, organic nectar. You can also, if you're looking to make something that, you know, boosts your electrolytes, you can actually add a little bit of uh, coconut water. But the key here is, this is illustrates that the Vitamix is a whole food juicer. Sometimes we call these smoothies. This one's going to be a little more liquid, right. but it's really a whole food juicer. You know that traditional juicers, you've got to buy pounds and pounds of produce. Yep, and you've got that thing. You gotta... oh, you've got that thing and this thing and all these yeah. things you have to clean. Right. You have to wash it's like three times as much produce. Yes. This is really how we should eat. Most doctors, top doctors and nutritionists are going to recommend you eat fruit and drink juice, but that's because juice usually is how to make it in chicken. We're drinking the whole fruit. Think of it like we're drinking liquid fruit. We're going to add some ice to keep it cold. Now, you don't have a Vitamix at home right now, right? So based on everything we said, what do you, how, how do you think we make this into a, into a smoothie or juice? What do we do? Automatic settings. Right. Yeah, so go ahead. Just push the uh, smoothie, right, this one right there. And there's the instructions, and then we just start. If you have large pieces like this, you didn't want to cut the fruit up, you can use the camper to push it down safely. No shaking the blender to make things go down. And it'll automatically, just like that, automatically pop the high speed. And when you taste this, really knows the texture. You're going to notice that every single one of those strawberry leaves has been liquefied. The apple skin, the apple core. You ever bite into an apple core and you get that part that sticks in your teeth? Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. This liquefied. Awesome. Come on up, we have a little tortilla soup. Oh, oh my god, I love this. This is what I was 
Do you have the Vitamix at home? Or is it on the wish list? Come on over, folks. We're showing you some of the functions of the Vitamix. Now remember, there are 13 appliances in one. They're built to last for decades. When you get it here at the fair, we're going to give you our longest warranty ever, a 10-year warranty. Okay. Silky smooth, no chunks, no lumps. Very refreshing. And if you can only smell this, it's very aromatic. See, the, it, about, it was so fresh, it blends it so thoroughly, you actually get aromas that are just wonderful, heavenly. Silky smooth, no chunks, no lumps. Really notice the texture on this. No pieces of seeds left. Even the skin is nice and smooth and liquefied. And then again, so much easier to clean than a traditional juice extractor. Warm water, drop of dish soap. New snap down cap. I love the soup. They put the whole thing to start. Oh, we did. Um, skin it. I get all of them. Yep, for everything. Ice cream coming up next. Stick around for the ice cream. There's no, there's no chunks, lumps, right? Truly a smoothie. And that's why the professionals do it. You go over to Wegmans. I was uh, shopping at Wegmans last night, close to midnight, and I walked over to their coffee bar and smoothie bar, and they are right there on, on their counter back there was two vitamins right side by side. You see, professional shops that, that, that depend on this kind of unique texture, you know, you would not pay the money that they charge if it came out chunky or lumpy. They have to have something that's dependable and truly unique, and you can get the same results at home. They've been making these vitamins since, vitamins since 1930s in Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, that's what my mother was for. See, there you go. It's meant for you. I'm going to buy me one. Thank you. I got the day, the last day off, because I'm coming in here the last day to shop around. Perfect. Yeah, come on over. Like I said, just make sure you have a card that has at least $118.79. That's all it takes to get started with the Vitamix when you buy it here at the fair. Next up, ice cream. Let's use the app to show you how the Perfect Blend system works with the Vitamix. So the app is called a Vitamix Perfect Blend app. You can get hundreds and hundreds of recipes. Take a look. These are all these recipes here. They're all, in this case, they're alphabetical order. Notice that we're still just in the B's, and now we're just approached into the C's. Look at this, we're going to scroll past all these recipes, we're still at, in the C's, so there are hundreds and hundreds of uh, recipes. We have it here on a uh, tablet, but you can also do this right on your smartphone. We just have the big screen in order to make it easier for everyone to see. So I'm going to go back to all recipes, and I'm going to choose just our favorites. You can tag individual recipes as ones that are your favorite, and I'm going to choose here the key lime ice cream, right there, key lime ice cream. You can look at the ingredients, you can look at the nutritional values per serving, and if you're missing any ingredients, you can click on the, the shopping cart icon, and it'll actually help create a uh, shopping list right on your phone for missing ingredients. We're going to hit blend, and the first thing it's going to do is ask for the container to be put on the scale. That's your preparation. Pretty easy, right? That's all you have to do to prepare. It goes right on the scale. Now, the scale doesn't have the intelligence the app does. The scale just weighs the container. It sends the weight to the app. The app says, that's the container, and now we're ready to blend. We're ready to build our ingredients. So this is a seven serving, but you can change the servings if you want, but we're feeding a fair full of people. This is calling for just over half an avocado. Now, since avocados come in different sizes, as long as you're somewhere close in the range of half of an avocado, it's going to accept it. But it won't let you miss an ingredient, which is great, and it won't have you greatly over or under add an ingredient. So we're using about half an avocado. And watch, watch the calorie content. So there's 92 calories in that avocado. So it's going to track that for you. So so far we have one ingredient, we have a total of 92 calories. It's asking for some limes. Now, this calls for about two limes, but again, limes vary in size. And it says the limes should be half peeled, half unpeeled. We're going to see if we can trick it here into accepting one and a half limes as being two limes. We're taking off half the skin like it asked for on the recipe. 
By the way, the app will also tell you some interesting facts about limes or whatever other ingredient you're adding. We're going to put in one lime, and there's nine calories in that size amount of lime. We're going to add the other 20. Now, it hasn't moved on because it probably says, hey, that's, that's not really enough lime for this. Maybe it thinks we added two really small limes. So we're going to add a little more. And that gives you the check mark. The red color means stop. Don't add it anymore. The next ingredient is a non-dairy creamer. We're going to use a little bit of International Delight. Uh, you can also use coconut milk creamer. You can one, use ones that are completely natural. This one's pretty good. Completely dairy free. By the way, you could also add cream, or you can also add cashews. And you can make that substitution by clicking on the pen icon, pencil icon, and editing a copy. So your uh, app is also fully editable. It's asking for some agave nectar. This is one of my favorite benefits of right. using the new Perfect Blend system. How are you doing? How are you? Good. Good. Good to see you again today. In the past, when I've made a recipe that had uh, honey or olive oil, I would have to pour that into a measuring cup, and then it seems like it would take all day to try and get those ingredients out of the measuring cup. Maybe I even dirty a spoon or a knife by trying to get it out of the measuring cup. Have you ever done that at home? So there's no measuring cup. The scale is the measuring cup. The canister is the measuring cup. Notice it's measuring it even as little as drop by drop, and that way you won't over-sweeten your ice cream. And just like that, perfect. Next up, some spinach. This will be a great example of how uh, sensitive the scale is. It's sensitive down to just small fractions of an ounce or gram. So we're going to put in some spinach. Before we go all the way up, I want to show you. Watch that yellow line there very closely. See that? Even single leaves of spinach you can measure. Now, maybe in this recipe, a little more or less spinach isn't a big deal, but what if we were adding basil to, uh, to a pesto? That could be a big difference. Maybe if we were adding some uh, spices, like something very, like jalapeno pepper, you don't want to overdo that. So, we just go until we're okay. This way you're gonna get perfect results. Now, as a demonstrator who's been doing this for years and years and years, I would normally in the past have added this much ice and figured this was enough. Let's see how close I was. Not that close, huh? So if I blended that right now, I would have something that would be really kind of looser like a frozen slushy. And it just really wouldn't give you that total illusion of ice cream. I'm going to get closer, but I'm not going to go all the way to the top because I know at the top, I've done this recipe before, it's really thick, like, like thick enough to scoop it out and put it into a bowl. I have to spoon this out into little uh, three ounce fixing cups. So we're going to get close, but we're going to leave a little bit of room so it's not quite as frozen. You can do this with this app. We're going to go on to blend, and with the new Ascent models of Vitamix. Do you have a Vitamix at home? Do you have, uh, how long have you had it? A couple years? Okay. So this Ascent series came out about a year ago, and this is the top of the line. This is the first time we're doing this at the fair. Notice it's in sleep mode. Everybody's concerned about energy use and, the, and uh, the environment, so it quickly goes into sleep mode for low power use. Just wake it up with a spin of the dial. What this is telling you is there's no container on top. You see the new machines have Bluetooth wireless connectivity. They also have uh, the ability to detect when the container gets on the machine. It'll detect when this container goes down and it'll ask for the information on how to blend it right from the app. Watch this, we put it on. It sees the container and it receives the blending instructions via Bluetooth from the app. That's why we call this a perfect blend system, because we use the scale to get an accurate building of exactly the amount of ingredients and in the right order. And now it's going to just receive the automatic blending instructions and just hit start. Your Vitamix today comes with a tamper to push the ingredients down the blaze. Have you made ice cream in the Vitamix before? So a lot of people are more nervous about making ice cream because there's so much ice in there. Your Vitamix is built to last, so durable, all metal parts of the drive system that you never have to worry about it wearing it out or ruining it with ice. Exactly how much time is left, but it's right there on the display. 
When it turns itself off, it's done. Look at that really firm, creamy texture. We know it's perfect because it built it off of the uh, scale and the app, which guided us along the way. It's like having a professional chef standing by you to say, okay, now add this ingredient first, keep adding it, keep adding, okay, that's enough, stop, you know, move on to the next ingredient. You won't miss an ingredient, and you'll get the perfect amounts, which is dependent on, uh, which will determine having perfect texture, temperature, and flavor. Look at how wonderful this is. Remember, there's a serving of spinach and avocado in here. You are nourishing your body instead of punishing your body with this frozen dessert. Isn't that the best green ice, uh, vanilla ice cream you've ever had in your life? Right? We've been voted number one avocado spinach ice cream at the New York State Fair every year we've tried. Now maybe that's because we're the only one, but you know. You're welcome, enjoy. But remember, take home the mo this model today because this is our top of the line Ascent Series, the A3500. Regularly $599 with none of the extras that we're offering here at the fair. But here at the fair, we're going to give you the perfect blend system, which is the free download of the app and the $69 chef scale, usually a $100 value that's included free today. We're giving you the uh, free upgrades to the metal finishes. We're giving you our best warranty ever, a 10-year warranty, includes all pieces, all parts, even shipping to and from your home. Do you have a Vitamix at home? Seen them before, though? My sister has. And she probably loves it, right? Your sister has it, probably loves it. Now, if you've ever used an ice cream maker, and we just proved that the Vitamix is also not only a blender, not only a hot soup maker, which we did before this, not only a juicer, but also a, an ice cream maker. At home, if this was an ice cream maker, you'd act, if this was a um, standalone ice cream maker, you'd have to take all the parts apart to clean it. They've designed this in a way there's no place for food to get stuck. And this might be one of the reasons why your sister uses her and loves it, because cleaning is just nothing to take apart. You just warm water, drop it your soap. New snap-down, lock-down cap. And there's even an automatic wash button, button because this is our top-of-line model. Maximum number of conveniences. Cleans down at the bottom. It's going to then automatically come up to high speed, which is going to clean the top around the cap. Hear that? And then the final seconds will come back down and clean down to the bottom again. 13 kitchen appliances in one. Vitamins are built to last for decades. We have an assortment of, of uh, four different colors here today. We also have the red. The red and the white are in a plain plastic finish, although these plastics are very high impact. You're not going to damage those finishes. But we also have the, what would normally be a premium metal finish, brushed stainless finish or graphite, which is a brushed black metal. And those finishes, which are normally extra, are today the same price as the red and the white. Rinse out the suds with fresh water back at your sink, and you're all ready for the next recipe. Most families are using their vitamins two or three times per day, but you can also use the vitamins two or three times per meal, because again, you can make a, a, a drink to go with your, uh, your dinner, it can make a soup or a side dish for the dinner, and then it can make the ice cream. So the blade spins so fast. How you doing today? Come on up, try it. It's a key lime, oh, it's a um, vanilla ice cream. Thank Actually, no, this is key lime. This is key lime ice cream. You're welcome. Thank Take you care. Much. You're welcome. Enjoy. <laughs> I love it. So, what are we moving on to? <laughs> we did the apple. Let's do a citrus green smoothie. Actually, let's do a carrot juice. A lot of people ask me if they can do carrot juice in the Vitamix. Simply carrots. You can also use the full-size carrots. I like to add my carrot juice with carrot and pineapple or carrot and orange. It gives it a little bit of sweetness. And then ice. No extra liquid needed. How are you doing today? Would you like to try a key lime ice cream? So we'll get it started and show you. You can go right from fruits and vegetables right into juice. No liquid needed. But once we start blending it, I'm going to make it a little thinner and more like what comes out of a juicer, simply by adding a little more uh, liquid or water. But we don't have to throw away the fiber. That's how juices work. They throw away the fiber in order to make it more drinkable like a liquid. We instead want to keep all that nutrition with the fiber in there. And if you want, don't want a smoothie, you want a juice, we just add a, a little bit of water or other liquid. But to show you the machine does not require it, we're going to hit smoothie. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to run this a little longer than the set 50 seconds. Let me show you the automatic 
the, the customizable programming of time. We can set this to a minute and a half or whatever time we want. Hit start, turn it to whatever speed we want. And with the camera, we can push the ingredients down into the blender. Now right now it's pretty frozen from the ice. As you can see already, it's making a nice puree. That's why it can do baby food and applesauce. Let it run a little longer. And it's going to make it into a thick, thick smoothie. Or we can add a little bit of water and actually make a more liquid juice. You know what's so great about the Vitamix? Even clumsy people can, can use a Vitamix. Did I get you? <laughs> You've been christened. You've been christened. And your name's not even Chris. So I'm supposing nobody else wants to be washed to lime ice cream, right? You don't want the wash cream? Okay. See, I did that in case there was any dust that fell on it. You know, we just washed it. There we go. Nothing like getting things caught on camera, right? That's all right. Nobody's perfect. Only the vitamin C. Or I should say, the perfect blend system is perfect. How much time is left on our juice? Well, oh, it's actually right there. We're down to ready to drink. Now, if you want to get the foam down, just let it run on a low speed at the end. It'll settle down, though, in a couple seconds here in the cups. Look at that nice, bright color. And again, no waste. We didn't throw away anything other than the very outer rind of the pineapple, and we didn't throw away any of the carrot. And this is a bit of a more of a wholesome one because there's no sugar added to this at all. This is just carrots and pineapple. I did not add any coconut water. Except that it just in case I forgot, but no. It's just... Did you see me add any coconut? Okay. The cameraman says no. Good, right? And no itching on the throat from coconut. Okay. So warm water drop of dish soap. Might have cleans itself. And wash and hit start. Now, if you don't want to do the full wash cycle, you can wash it manually. Just hit start. And turn it up to high speed. Whoops. I started on one. And turn it up to high speed. For so a simple juice like this may only take uh, a few seconds to clean it. We're not worried about anything dripping down in the motor. The motor's sealed. And then rinse out the sides. With fresh water back at your sink in your kitchen. And you're ready for the next recipe. And we'll probably take a short break while we pass off the juices. Thank you.